Oh, oh, breaking moves. Breaking moves. I don't like that look at all. Bill Walton texts me back. Oh, let's, let's go. go. Oh, okay. All right, Bill with two L's. So right before we started, we were brainstorming. We are like, How, who can we get on the show on Friday? We're going to try to get Mick Cronin for the people. But then we realized Bill Walton, and uh, I realized that I, I had his number, and I hadn't texted him since 2019 when he texted me back saying, shine on, dream on, build on, carry on, B-dub. He texted <laughs> just now. I said, congrats, uh, Bill. What a run for your – I feel like I should have called him coach, just even – just Coach, yeah. yeah. He gives us I, co- said, Our brother. Yeah, congrats, Bill. What a run for your Bruins Conference of Champions. And he wrote back, never in doubt, uh, space, 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 wow, space, 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 incredible – Space, 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 greatest story ever told. Space, 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 wow. Space, 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 we just had a miracle. Yes. I love it. Bill with two L's. What uh, do I do follow up? Uh, hey, uh, oh, by the way, I love it. come on our podcast? Yeah. Would love you to tell the story on the record on our podcast. I like that. Yeah, we'd love to share the story with our audience on the podcast. I'm going to throw in. Oh, all right. Okay. That, it would be a miracle okay. of itself. All right. All right. Who all right. would be the best storyteller? Oh, okay. All right. You guys talk talk amongst yourself real quick. I'm just gonna do this real. Quick. I'm gonna think about this. What do you? What I'm gonna know? throw in a Grateful Dead lyric as well. I think I'm gonna throw in one from the Wheel. Friend of the Devil, Bill. The wheel. You and Lil Nas X. No, the Wheel. <laughs> Friend with benefits of the Devil. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in. I'm gonna throw in the. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Here it goes. Uh, in- unbelievable. So happy for you. <laughs> so happy for you. Uh, would love for you to tell, to share the story. For you to share the story on the podcast if you have any free time this week. If you have any free, someone else say, Billy, do your hot seat. Uh, hot seat cool thrones brought to you by our friends at Coors Light and Coors Seltzer. You've been seeing us. The Blue Mountains have been chill. Tweet us your Blue Mountains. We love those Blue Mountains. Every time I see a Blue Mountain, I just want a Coors Light. It's, I get it's happier. Yeah. Absolutely the best. The mountains on the bottles and cans turn blue when your beer is cold. That way, you always know when it's time to chill. It's been a long month. There's been a lot of hoops. Well, guess what? Maybe chill this weekend. Maybe chill out on a Saturday. Just have a couple Coors Lights or maybe a Coors Seltzer and enjoy a nice chill beverage. Coors Light is cold lagered, cold filtered, and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill. And if you ever feel like you're always on the go, you're juggling a million things at once, and you want to do is chill, Coors Light is literally made for those moments because everyone likes variety. Coors has also introduced refreshing Coors Seltzer with flavors like black cherry, mango, and lemon lime. Get Coors Light and Coors Seltzer delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart. Tweet us. With uh, hashtag Coors PMT Lottery with a picture of your Coors Light or Coors Seltzer and a lottery ball number for a chance to win a PMT Coors jumpsuit. We have them. They're awesome. Mm. They are awesome. So next time you're thinking about sending us that those cold blue mountains, use that hashtag Coors PMT Lottery with a number. And if you win, you win. And you get a PMT uh, Coors jumpsuit. I've also noticed that the bottles, the Coors bottles and cans, they feel colder than yes, other beers. When absolutely. You, when you hold one, Billy's not in, You know what I'm talking about. Yep. Like you, 100%. You hold a Coors, and if you gave me a, a bleep this out, Hank, and then a Coors Light in the other hand, and I, I touch them, I could tell you instantly, like, this is the one I want to drink. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado, and Fort Worth, Texas. My hot seat is Major, the White House dog that once again <laughs> bit a staff member. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, that's, that's two thus far, right? Yeah, he got sent away once, uh-huh. and the second time, he's a repeat offender. So we need to figure out something to do with Major. I actually – so – I suggested that Chaps train Major because that's Huge. what Chaps' dog was. I think he'd do a good job at it. I think Major might just be a badass. I think Major just – he might be – you know what? Major might be MAGA. Mm-hmm. And so he's, he's fucking shit up at the White House because he's pissed off. He doesn't want to be there. Hates the government. Hates the government. Yeah, Major's a libertarian. Boom. I like that. Um, yeah, it's uh, not a good look to have the dog. Although I think it'd be – Maybe all the people that thought Trump is just in Biden's body – is actually Trump is just in Major's body. Freaky Friday switch with the German Shepherd. Yeah, I like that. I it would be sick though if uh, 
if the president, whoever it was at the time, had just a shitload of rowdy pit bulls in the White House that just bit everyone, like attack dogs. That'd be pretty cool. My cool throne is pro days. So there's been a ton of pro days. I'm going to watch all the quarterback stocks Yeah, going around. So Seeing their stocks. Zach Wilson had an insane throw where he rolled out left. Yeah. And then cross body through towards the right pylon, like 70 yards Am in the I air. Am I dreaming? Yeah. <laughs> what? Did we not? Is this, we had this exact conversation. We talked about this, yeah. No, but just let him cook. No, but then but then Justin Fields attempted the same throw, couldn't do it. He went left and threw to the left pylon. And then okay, Kellen but, Mond. Billy, I saw your tweet. You know would be sick if but, we just did combines of like regular people just doing their... <laughs> Kellen Mond was able to do the sick cross body but I think the right pylon. but I think Fields was intentionally throwing to the, he, it wasn't like a miss right, throw right, he was right, aiming right. But he obviously couldn't do it because he was trying to imitate it all right so it, all right cut, cut through all your storytelling Mac as Jones entertaining as it is Mac Jones pro day was not good he did not he couldn't do the cross body throw Kellen Mond was able to do it yeah he was sick yeah, Bill, he, Bill Belichick was watching, and he was, like, shaking his head no. It was the opposite of the meme where he puts the binoculars on to get a closer look. He was putting the binoculars on the opposite way to look further away from Mac Jones because he was not happy. You should just do stock up, stock down, Billy. Anyway, okay, I'm done. Backs. I'm done with the text. Okay. All right, here's what I got. I wrote back, unbelievable, so happy for you. Would love for you to share the story on the podcast if you have any free time this week. We can be totally flexible to your schedule. UCLA back in the Final Four. And I, I, I changed the lyric a little. So it's it, the lyric is, uh, I had one of those flashes. I'd been there before, been there before. It's from uh, Scarlet Begonias. I wrote, you had one of those flashes. You've been there before, been there before. That's good. For the final That's four. Good That's good, right? Uh -huh. yeah. That's good. I think, right. I think he's definitely going to I feel good that. about that. Uh, I feel it's, it's out in the world now. But Big Cat, more importantly, you missed Billy's electrifying recap of quarterback pro days. Oh, tell me. Zach Wilson? Did he no. do a throw? Did you see the sick throw? <laughs> no, but then they tried to imitate his throws, and the only one who was able to do it was Kellen Mond and Justin Fields. Future attempted Bear, it. Yeah. Future Bear, and then Max Jones. Mac Jones didn't even like do any. Cool okay, throws. so my hot seat was gonna be <laughs> my hot seat was gonna be Mac Jones because he didn't do any cool throws. He also overthrew some people, and uh, we are NFL NFL Twitter is so funny because like. I love when NFL Twitter is like, I'm not even going to watch college basketball. I'm just going to watch pro days. Yeah. And they, there was a bunch of tweets that were essentially reading the body language of like Kyle Shanahan and Bill Belichick every time yep. Mac Jones overthrew someone. Well, and they were never like Belichick, Bill Belichick was just watching. No, Bill Belichick did have one clip where he looks to the guy to his right and he's like, nah, it's not good. And, and he shook his head. But Kyle Shanahan, <laughs> it was just a clip away. It was a cutaway yes. to Kyle Shanahan who was staring straight ahead. And they're like, Kyle Shanahan hates this yeah, shit. Yeah, Kyle Shanahan's regretting moving up to three now. He wants, to, like, he was going to take Mac Jones at number three, anyways. But uh, you know who had the best pro day? Who, Billy? At Old Miss pro day? Chad, Chad Kelly. 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 Yes. Yeah. Swag, swag. Swag's back. <laughs>